So in our last couple of videos then we talked about making our maces, about our posture and our marching. So today I'm going to talk us through starting off. Now this is starting off from a standing position. If you're macing your right hand and your left fist nice and tight and your thumb over your hand and that tight by your side. So remember about our posture then, nice straight back, shoulders back, head up, chin straight. Um, nice tight fist, straight arm, down to our side. Okay, it's personal preference how you hold your mace in your right hand. Some people hold it like that. Personally, I like to hold it with my thumb because I can hold it a bit straighter and hold that in nice and tight. Too. Your feet should be together, nice and tight, stand nice and straight. So, to talk to it through, starting off then, remember everything happens in our left foot. And I'll just show you now how to do it. So, up on your left, take a right step. Down on your left, take a right step. One, back, two, back, march. On your first left, what you're going to do is you're going to bring your mace up into your left arm. So make sure your right hand is above your left hand. And your mace slanted where you want it to be. So on your right step, you're not going to do anything at all. So just right foot forward and that's it. On our next left then, what we're going to do is we're going to put our right arm down to our side. So, left foot then, arm down. And that arm down, go straight into a fist, thumb over, and slam it down to your side. You're going to take another right step and not do anything again. So just right step. That's it. Now your next left then, you're going to swing your arm up. So left, swing your arm up. Remember, make sure that the arm is up, up to your shoulder and nice and straight. And on your right step, swing it back. You're going to do the exact same again. So left foot, arm up. Right foot, arm back. And then your next step, depending on whether the pipes are playing behind you or if it's just the left feet. So if it's just the left feet, you're just going to keep on doing that movement. As we showed in the last video. So just arm up and down. If the pipes are playing though, what you're going to do is you're going to start swinging your mace. Like we discussed the last week. So mace down, arm up. So I'll just show you both scenarios now. Um, and just to clarify as well as starting off. Um, it's usually linked with the drum rolls, so in your two three paced rolls, that's your beats. So, and pipes. Okay, so a couple of things to remember when you're doing that then is snappy movements. So, mace going up and arm down. Snappy. Make sure everything's happening on the left foot. Okay, and talk yourself through it. That will be used then in parades if you're just standing and you're ready to go, or if you're in competition. So, go step by step and practice it until you can't get it wrong. So practice and tips for you then is repetition. Keep doing these things over and over again. And the more that you do it, the more that you'll get better at it. And the second thing is patience. It's really important to have patience with yourself when you're learning something new. Um, your tutors all have patience with you. It's literally their job to be patient with you. And because you haven't got a tutor right now, apart from me, through your screen, um, then you need to have patience with yourself. So do it over and over again and work on it until you can't get it wrong. Um, if you can, practice in front of a patio door or a mirror or something like that so you can see your shoulders back, your posture's right, um, your mace is in the right position, your arms are going up in the right positions and um, if you want feel free to send your messages in or comment below any questions you have or if you want to send a video and you want some help on doing anything like that I'll be more than happy to help. Um, so over the next few weeks then we'll look at flourishing 
and how to sort of merge everything together and make it look nice and smart. So, thanks for listening.